Okay, I'd like to answer this question I got, uh, I got sent to me. Uh, I won't mention the name of the person, uh, but... Uh, okay, so I'm just going to be reading a bit of the question and answering it. Okay, brother, I need help. No one is believing my experiences in the Muslim world. My kundalini awakened, but not, but not by uh, my own doing and I'm being visited by entities, serpents and reptilians in UFOs. They are doing some stuff that will blow your mind. I can't pray. If I try, my voice turns demonic, like they possessed me. Hmm. Okay, I think I'll start answering. Um, no, I'll read a bit more. My husband has seen entities around me too. Uh, I don't know what to do. This has been going on for three years. How it started, I saw an orb in my room that felt angelic. It is what I now know as false light. Well, it opened all my chakras that night. <clears throat> I didn't know what it was doing. It was just swirling around me. Three months later, I was praying to Allah and I saw the sun god. I didn't understand. I don't worship or call on anyone but Allah. Now I hear them talking. I see them. I have many different powers. They lie, uh, they lie all the time. I always catch them out. They won't leave. They won't uh, leave. We have tried exorcisms, but they have spells to counteract. Don't get me wrong. I know Allah can end this for me straight away. I'm not sure. I have to be patient with it. Am I being punished or am I to learn and make sense of what I've seen and tell others for me the veil I saw open and saw a parallel place and in my lounge a portal? Uh, I have three books of stuff I've seen. I try write stuff down in case I forget stuff forever. They hack me, they hack into me like I'm a computer. Brother, this is not a joke. If you can help me or put me in the right direction, I'll be very grateful. There feels like, uh, there feels like I'm alone on this and I know I'm not. Thanks for taking the time to listen. Inshallah, you can help. Okay, I'll try my best to, uh, uh, answer this. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to sp speak uh, on this, and uh, you know, I, I refer to I, I, you know, to call on Allah, to call on God, and um, okay, so I'll just re report like some of the stuff um, that I heard one of my spiritual teachers, Dr. Hawkins, say. Um, it's. Uh, one of the things to know is that the only reason um, these kind of experiences are visited on one is because one has weaknesses in the chakras. There are pre-existing weaknesses which allow certain things to happen. Uh, there's karmic reasons for these, uh, often either from this lifetime, past lifetimes, um, I'm trying to be helpful. Some of the stuff I say might be very heavy and you may not agree with it, in which case just don't ignore it um, and just take what you want, leave the rest. Now, um, sometimes in past lifetimes, uh, one has done things, which means that one's chakras become weak. And, uh, and then uh, it's almost like the entities have vulnerabilities from which they can easily uh, get slotted in. Also understand that, um, I mean, this world has been, and in past lifetimes, there's been lots of channelers and things which allow one access to the astral realms. Uh, there are numerous astral realms, from the demonic to the angelic. And often in prior lifetimes, one has joined cults, there has been strange leaders, uh, one has been parts of certain groups, one has made oaths, which one d made out of ignorance. And, um, and what these do is they create uh, both, uh, they create karmic vulnerabilities 
in the chakra system or, or karmic things. And therefore, it's very easy. Some of these, uh, it depends, you know, some of them may uh, lay one open to visiting uh, astral realms, you know, almost uh, uh, may, may flip into these astral realms very easily, into hellish realms, into, into other realms. I mean, there are other realms that seem to be similar to this plane where everything is negative and everything is being destroyed. Um, there can be other realms that might seem, uh, you know, uh, and you can have all kinds of, I mean, there's, you could say there's an infinite num number of astral realms on different planes, you know, so you can feel some of them hellish, some of them may give you the experience of UFOs, entities speaking to you. Um, so you've do, you're doing the right type of thing, um, uh, exorcisms is good. I mean, on a prayer, okay, so it seems, you know, one of the things in, um, so in past lifetimes one could have joined a cult, made, made oaths to certain leaders, uh, done things in ignorance in past lifetimes, which lays one open to, in this lifetime, being susceptible to attack. And, uh, and, uh, and so um, often oaths taken can... Now, how do you counteract this? I was very troubled to read that as soon as you try and pray, you seem to be unable to pray because entities or, or some, something's not allowing you. So that would be quite... Um, it is very distressing because you want to call on Allah, call on God. And it seems that there is a blockage coming in on that level. However, um, I think there, there are other ways, like you're doing. Sometimes um, I would, you know, go li like you've done uh, with myself and others to people of, uh, of the light and spiritual groups of high vibration. Um, I mean, I'm quite interested in the Course in Miracles, uh, spiritual teachers. You have to also, um, you may have uh, been led to places which are not good to you, especially if you're under such demonic attack. But um, you want to, you know, whether it be A Course in Miracle groups, whether it be uh, uh, Muslim imams, whether it be exorcists, um, <clears throat> uh, getting groups of people to pray for you, you know, um, will uh, sometimes when you, your, your chakras are so open and you have so much karmic susceptibility, uh, one of the things I would do is you need people either people of the light or groups of the light because it seems like you've lost a lot of that you're you seem to be under constant attack and also prayer is usually normally if you're able to pray to pray I would say you know choose your favorite uh, Islamic prayer or whatever it is and say that uh, non-stop to call on uh, divine grace Allah's grace however if that's been blocked off then um, you can definitely keep corresponding with me, um, but also you need you need either you need to keep trying people of the light and groups of the light to be supported by those energies and for people to pray for you, for people who can guide you uh, around this. I'm not exactly. I mean, for myself, these would, these would be the type of prayers I would do. Um, I would type. I would uh, for demonic attack. Let me try and read what kind of attack are they doing on you. Um, it wasn't quite clear how, I mean, they're um, reptilians. Uh, my voice turns demonic. Oh, possession. Yes, okay. They possessed me. Oh, I see. Okay, demonic possession. Okay, so, um, you know, sometimes demonic, pos demonic possession can be, you know, possibly, you know, I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's been, uh, who may have been part of cults in past lifetimes and led spiritual seekers astray. Uh, I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who has misled uh, spiritual seekers. Um, I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who has um, been part of groups or places which have placed spiritual speakers into the wrong, on the wrong direction so that they were susceptible to demonic possession. So that kind of things, uh, when one, and one can be very naively, pray forgiveness for yourself and your naivety, 
in past life, if you, if you believe in past lifetimes, which I do, um, and that will start to um, release the, the chinks in your chakras or the karmic weakness that you have, which is being open so that these, um, you're either visiting uh, these negative domains or, you know, if you're being, it's almost like, okay, so it may, you know, the entity that, I mean, are these, set, I mean, I'm not quite sure from the question, are they different types of demonic entities that are just taking you over or is it the same one? Sometimes, you see, one, one of the type of things I do is I try and figure out what's the weakness in me. You can also pray for the entity and send light and love to it or get others to send light and love to it. Often in the way to text you, there's clues into what the vulnerability is. You know, like, um, uh, so I would, um, yeah, I would definitely, um, as you're doing, uh, go, to, go to different spiritual groups where you find there's a lot of light, spiritual teachers, uh, imams, exorcists, and carry on with that. You want to be, if you can't pray, get others to pray for you. You want to, sometimes when you're, you can't get your personal vibration up, then you need to be in groups or around people or in liaison with people who have a high vibration who can lend you the light to get out of those. Um, some of the tools I do, um, you know, um, I know you're struggling to use prayers. You can listen to this video, you can put it on repeat. Uh, or, okay, you can do this, because I'll put this on YouTube, you know. Um, so, uh, I place, uh, I place uh, the entity into God's infinite light and love, and I pray for miracles and transcendence around this entity. So, I place this, the entities, or the demonic entities, into God's infinite light and love, I pray for miracles and transcendence around this. I pray, uh, I pray, uh, I pray to Allah to reveal or impress upon my mind the karmic or chakra vulnerabilities within myself that are laying me open to, um, uh, to these attacks or these possessions. I, uh, I pray to Allah for Allah's inspiration, guidance and forgiveness around this area so that I can be led to solutions to be free of this. So those would be some of the prayers. Uh, attend spiritual groups, imams, churches, mosques, uh, and keep uh, going out for for help on this issue. And keep you can keep uh, connecting with me as well, and I'll try and be helpful as well. Thank you.